I'm back. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the hack spot. All right, but anyways, sorry I've been gone for some time. I've just been super busy with other stuff, getting back my social life and all that good stuff. But anyways, it's hard to juggle both college and YouTube at the same time. But today, I am finally going to show you guys my list of top 10 tweaks for iOS 10.1.1 and 10.2. Basically, if you have your device jailbroken on iOS 10, this video should have you covered. All right, so I have handpicked all these tweaks myself. They are all amazing tweaks. And by the end of this, you guys will wonder how you lived without a jailbroken for such a long time but yeah for some of these you will need a custom source because Cydia is not accepting transactions at the moment so check below in the description for custom sources that you guys may need to add to get these tweaks all right now number one is a tweak called Noctis now if you have not heard about this tweak where have you been this is a very very cool tweak so basically bring up control center you guys can notice that we now have a dark theme and it just looks so nice so if you tap on this little lamp right here you guys can see that it turns back to normal tap on it again and we go back into dark mode and it looks so nice, especially on the iPhone 7 where it's all black. And by the way, this iPhone 7 is on iOS 10.1.1. I would have made this video on 10.2, but this success is cracked. And this success that's on iOS 10.2, Joe Broken, actually has a cracked screen. I was playing basketball. It was in my pocket. And boom, we got a cracked screen. It's pretty bad. Need to get these two fixed soon. But yeah, Noctis is a very, very beautiful looking tweak. You can also give it a different tint if you want it to be a different color too. So overall, I do love this tweak a lot. There's a lot in the settings too, so check it out. And number two on this list is called CC Recorder. Oh my God, this tweak is definitely worth the money if you record a device screen a lot. So basically, let's go back over here. You guys can notice a the theme. There's a bunch of the control center. But anyways, there's a new icon on the bottom right, and this is completely worth the money. So let's tap on it. You guys can't see on the top right. It's very small. You guys can see we have a little camera icon right there. Okay, so it is recording my device screen. I can go and move around. It's so, so fluid. Wow. Okay, so basically, once you want to stop recording, you can just go bring this back up tap on that button and there we go now it's not highlighting anymore so you're good to go you can go to your photos app all right so here are my camera roll there it is and i can just go and tap on it play it and look at this guys it was recording it's just so seamless worked perfectly fine i like that it doesn't put a red status bar but it's got a little camera icon and it's not really moving right up because i wasn't moving my device it's going to forward and yeah uh, you guys can't see that it's very very fluid boom <laughs> And yeah, from here, of course, you can just go ahead and share it wherever you want. Just tap, tap it right there. And you guys can share on YouTube, wherever you want, airdrop it. But number three is called Add-on for Action Menu. Now, this is another very, very simple tweak that can be very, very useful in the long run. So basically, as jailbreakers, we add sources a lot. Now, wouldn't it be a lot simpler if you could just go in and just copy the URL and add it as a source stuff, just going back into the city and adding it? I probably didn't make any sense, but let me just go and demonstrate. So going to Safari, here's a source that we want. We're at the website of the source so he's going to tap right here and now i'm going to tap and hold on this and bring this up i'm going to select all and there you go we have the add as repo button so all you gotta do is tap on add as repo it'll go to bring up cydia look at this guys and all you do now is tap on install the source just like this and look at that it's going to be installing the source very very easy to use and yeah i love this tweak a lot make it so much faster to just add a source that you guys see and want to add because of a certain tweak and it's really really cool now just so you know to get this to work you do have to have http and the two dots and then the slash slash to make it to, to make it work so if it's just like one second like this then it will not work you guys can see that there's no option but we just got to add in the http go back over here this slash slash and now it should work so again select all and there it is add as repo this thought i'll give you guys a little pointer and guys this list just gets better and better this next tweak on four yep the fourth tweak on the list is called gorgon i don't know why but this name reminds me of zelda this little like things that roll around if you guys know what i'm talking about of course it'll only work if you're inside an application so let's go to open up let's say twitter all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and just swipe over from the side and look at this guys i can multitask on my iphone 7 or any other device using this so i go to open up another app let's say i don't know let's just do city app so it's going to bring up Cydia 2 and look at this, guys. So now I can multitask on my device very efficiently. I can just go ahead and swipe over like this and I have Cydia right there. If I want to pull up my notes, I could do that too. 
But it, all we're gonna do now is swipe down from here. I can go and open up any other application. So again, let's just do, let's say, Safari. And I go and use this. I go back over here just by going like this. And look how fluid it is. So really, really cool. I love this tweak a lot. It's just very, very good for multitasking. So you don't have to just go out of here again and open up the app or just go into here, double tapping every time. This is so much more fluid and functional. Number five is a tweak called Immortal. Now, I know you guys will love this one. Oh my God, this is amazing. I did not think this would be possible. But what Immortal does, is you know how you guys can install apps from City Impactor? Well, this gives the apps unlimited life. So, for example, if you download Spotify Plus Plus from City Impactor, it will never get revoked. You don't have to reinstall it every seven days. It will always work, which is really, really cool. I love it a lot. And this is also very, very cool. You can install more than three apps using City Impact at a time. It removes that limit. So, basically, no revocations. And you can install more than three apps. So, if you guys haven't seen my video, that I'll link down below. It has so many hacks for all the different applications and they all use city impactor check it out and basically with that and this tweak you could have these apps for forever and not have to redo the process every seven days i love it a lot but of course guys right now for the joke break you will have to redo only the joke break city app thingy my big bird to get these two apps and the jailbreak working on your device but you don't have to do all these other apps individually as well they will continue working for forever but anything else they install with city impact or like plus plus tweaks you will not have to redo the process for plus plus tweaks or any plus plus apps so that is very very cool number six another must have tweak it is called gazelle so basically this tweak it can give your icon some life so if i go to swipe up on an icon let's say the photos one i'm going to take a picture straight from my home screen very easily very quickly i go to this little switch like this of course and it's just so so cool i love it a lot you guys are gonna hear me say that a lot <laughs> i love it a lot all right but anyways take a picture and look at this take a picture it's very very cool very quick if i go to swipe up on the clock app you guys can see that I can enable or disable my alarms so that is very very cool too there's a lot of functionality right here and it still does work with 3d touch so i can still hard press we still get this options but this one is just a swipe up and you can't change that to whatever you want inside the settings number seven is a tweak called power tap again this is a very intuitive tweak so basically if i hold down my lock button right here keep on holding down until we get that little power off toggle right here you guys can see that it says slide to power off like normal but if you're going to tap on this toggle right here and now it says slide to reboot tap on it again slide to respring tap on it again slide to enter safe mode and once more we're slide back to slide to power off so it does work really really well because it's going to use this toggle for anything i use it a lot for respring my device or rebooting it's very intuitive it's like it's already built into the os up next we got horseshoe and this is number eight on the list so if we go back to control center you guys can not see that we now have music in the same spot again so it's very very cool i hate having those multiple pages especially when trying to turn up and down the brightness or volume it's so so annoying i don't know why apple did that come on apple but anyways i guess we only have one page now and we have our music showing right there and there we got a brightness control toggle right here and volume so it's all one well how does this work we have our volume going up and down now if i'm going to tap right here now we have our brightness so i can go and change my brightness from here as well just like this and again tap back over here now i can adjust the volume again so very cool tweak it puts that all in one place again for you guys this one is another must have next we got tap the keys now this is especially cool on the iphone 7 on the iphone 7 you could just how intense the vibration is but basically if i go and bring my keyboard <laughs> now my keys vibrate every time i touch on them it feels so nice i love having feedback so it just feels so cool especially if you go like this you guys have to feel for yourself on the iphone 7 it just feels really really nice i mean on ios you have feedback everywhere even when you bring that control center you feel a little bump and same thing with the control center if you're going to bring it up you feel a little bump but there's nothing with the keyboard so i really love having it on the keyboard feels so cool and in at number 10 we got grasshopper this brings picture and picture to every single ios device out there so it's really really cool of course with the ios 10 jailbreak let's go and bring up safari let's go and load up a video of mine so here we are and let's go ahead and turn the volume up i guess and now we have a new icon right there for picture in picture so you can go tap on this icon and look at that now i can go anywhere on my device let me go and turn the volume down but look how cool this is i can move this anywhere on my device and use my device however i want multitasking is amazing of course you can pinch the zoom to make it bigger or make it smaller put it anywhere on your device turn it like a bit so you can go play around with it uh, get some cool effects skin. <laughs> yeah, this is very handy. For example, if you're watching one of my top tweaks videos, you can open up Cydia, watch the video, and just install the tweaks at the same time, which is really, really cool. So I can just go and bring this down. And as if I say one tweak, you guys can just go and search for it right when the video is playing. So you don't have to pause the video 
and it's just so so cool when you go to tap on it once you got your controls you got pause you go to tap on the x button to get rid of it i love it now i thought i'd throw in another bonus tweak and this one is especially cool if you're on the all black iphone 7 and you just want a all black interface too this can be done with eclipse now you guys can see that i have an all black menu right here and i did make the top red i think it looks very very cool i'm gonna change that to a different color maybe blue but i do like how it looks this is how the iphone 7 should be i mean we got the stealth black look and we got this blaring white it does not go together so on the iphone 7 this is a must have again safari right here cool i can go back over here let's go and open up the app store and you guys can see that again, the same theme right here. It just looks so, so cool. Look at this, guys. All right, so as always, really do hope that you guys enjoyed this top tweaks video. Definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you do want more of these. And stay tuned because I have so many more exciting videos planned. Some that are very unexpected. But yeah, it's going to be exciting. So get subscribed and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next video. Peace out. Hello.